Today's home fitness workout video I've got for you is gonna help you burn off loads of calories. We're gonna to be toning through your abs, toning through your thighs, booty. It is a really fun HIIT workout. We do 30 seconds of HIIT training, then 30 seconds of toning. You are going to need a chair for this, and this does suit every fitness level because I show you two alternatives. So it's ideal if you're a beginner and you wanna get super fit at home. So the workout takes approximately eight minutes. What I do suggest if you haven't done a warm up, just hit the pause button, march on the spot for about one minute, then we'll get straight into today's training. The first move we've got coming up is a deep skater's lunge, and you're really aiming, if you're on the right, to take that hand all the way down to the ground. So we'll get ready. When the timer comes up, we're gonna start. So let's get ready and come into position. Go for 30 seconds from now. So with this one, if you're following me on the left, if you're a beginner or like low impact, just really aim to push that hand behind and take that foot across and over. If you're following me on the right, make that move really dynamic and take that leg really far behind and to get the fingertips down to touch the ground. You're only doing this move once today. So you've got your last seven seconds now of this move. And then we're going straight onto a toning exercise on the chair. Three, two, and one. All right, so you've got 10 seconds where I'm just showing you the move. Do make sure your chair is by a wall or a sturdy surface. So we're gonna lean into the chair. When you see the big 30 second timer, that's when we start. So let's draw that knee across. You're taking over towards the opposite elbow or hand sorry and just this one here is incredible for really sculpting through your waist because what we're doing is we're targeting the oblique external and internal oblique muscles so it helps to really draw in your waistline plus we're developing strength through your upper body which for women is really good to help present things in later life such as osteoporosis all right let's go last five seconds take it four and then go three two and one. All right, so you've got 10 seconds before you need to start. So you can just see the move coming up. We do two knee lifts and we do a jump out. You start when the 30 seconds timer appears. All right, so you've got two options. If you're a beginner, follow me on the left. So two knee lifts and then a tiny squat. If you're following me on the right, you've got two knee lifts, jump down, straight back up. That's it. So this is the hit part of the workout today. This is where we increase your intensity and by increasing your intensity, we increase what's known as the epoch effect, excess post-oxygen consumption, meaning we increase your calorie burn for at least 10 hours after doing these short, quick workouts. All right, two and one. So your next toning move, this time now, we're coming back to the chair. Again, make sure it's pushed by a wall. You're gonna be lifting one leg up and behind. We're doing 30 seconds. You can wait till that timer comes up, coming into position. Let's get ready to lift. So lift that up. I'm gonna let you know after, after 15 seconds, so you can change the leg. So really with this one, keep the tummy pulled in tight. So then we're working your core muscles, lift that leg up nice and high so you can feel it through the glute. Two and one, just change legs for me now. Take that to the opposite side, lifting that up and back. That's good, nice control and really feel that one working. So we're toning, lifting, sculpting through the bottom. The more toned your bottom is, the more calories your body burns as well. All right, two and one, let's get ready. So your next hip move now, we're gonna do heel kickbacks. So you've got an option, if you're on the left, you're gonna do the low impact. If you're on the right, you're gonna do it as high impact. You can wait now and here comes the timer. Let's take it 30 seconds. So if you are doing it on the right, try and land nice and softly for me. If you're doing it on the left, let's really focus on good upper body posture. Pull your shoulders back, have your chest lifted, have your tummy tight, you've got 15 seconds to go. All right, that's good, and keeping that going. So remember, in these hip ones, when we're not using the chair, it's about putting in 100% effort to really get that intensity up, three, two, and one. So your next chair toning move, this time you're gonna sit down, then you come up, lift one knee, opposite knee, and then sit back down. So this one here, we are working near enough every single muscle in the body. We've got the timer coming up now, so let's get ready. Come up to standing, knee lift, knee lift, and sit back down. So when you do this, as you drive yourself up, as you push up, you're working through the thighs, and we're working the waist, we're working the arms, and as we sit back down, we're working through the hamstrings and the glutes, so you're working all over, that's good. So this one here won't get your heart rate up as much, but this is more about toning and sculpting. And you've got last five seconds from now, five, let's take it four, go three, two, 
and one. So we're going straight back to a hip move. Now this time is a tough one. So you've got two options. Do low impact or high impact. If you're following me on the right, you might wanna do 10 seconds. If the harder move, then swap to doing 10 on the left. All right, so we're just staying low. So it's like you're in a squat, then you jump it out. You take the arms behind, land softly. Let's just keep going. But remember, it's so important to always push yourself to that point of challenge. And you've got last 15 now, so let's just keep going. You're well over halfway. Remember, you're not repeating any of these moves today. Last 10 seconds, if you're following me on the left, just got nice and low. Make sure you don't let the knees come over the line, the toes. And let's go last three, two, and one. Amazing. So your next chair move, standing behind your chair, you want to take the heels up. We're going to go for a deep plie squat. So now we're activating your inner and outer thighs. That's good, so let's take that down 30 seconds and push that back up. Let's really focus here as well on having really lovely upper body posture. So keep your chest lifted, shoulders pulled back, tummy is tight and you're going as low as you can. If you find it too hard with both the heels off the ground then just place the heels back down. But do make sure you are going as low as you can for me. That's good, you've got last 10 seconds. Nice control, push that down. Think about where you're working. You're working through those thighs and we're focusing on good upper body posture, two and one. All right, so your next move now, we're doing what's called the pendulum swing. So we're back to doing a hip move. You're gonna do that for 30 seconds when the timer shows and you're literally either doing the high impact on the right, that's it, yeah, or the low on the left. So let's just keep that going. By having the arms up, why I've done this, it just means that I'm getting you really to activate your core, your tummy, um, deep tummy abdominal muscles. That's it, and just going from one side to the other. And as I always say to you in all my workouts, it's always about targeting the body from lots of different angles, which again today we are very much doing all three angles, which is we're doing sideways, a front on and rotational. All right, two and one. So this time now, your next chair move, we are gonna do toe taps and arm extensions. So this one, again, is a full body toning move. So just stand in front of your chair, let's get ready, and we'll do 30 seconds. So we're just tapping that toe up and open the arms out. Make sure your palms are facing down as you do this. Keep your upper body nice and straight. Keep thinking of all the benefits you are getting from today's workout. You know, and as I always say, the clue about was the workout hard enough? Did it do what you needed? If you are sweating, and feel out of breath and feel like your heart rate has raised and then yes so don't worry about the time so many people worry about time as long as you've hit the intensity is key right so your next move this time we are doing squat drops and then reach to the side so you drop down and reach it over and this one here they're both a low impact but I'm really exaggerating the move on the right so if you want to work a little bit harder so you come all the way down to the ground and reach that across so this one even though there's no jumping trust me this one will get your heart rate up by now I was like absolutely dripping and you know this is my point I like do all these exercises and test them before I put them live on YouTube okay so you've got last 10 seconds and this is the last bit of your hit training today so let's really go for it and let's take that last five and then go four take it three two and one. So if your last toning move, I'm gonna let you choose what one you want to do. So you can either do the plie squat or you can do this mountain climber. So the choice is yours, but we're gonna start now for 30 seconds. So you do the move you want. All right, let's just keep that going. So if you're doing the plie squat on the left, just make sure you keep that upper body nice and straight. If you're following me on the right, then just really make sure you keep the tummy tight, take that knee over as far as you can and we're going to go last 15 seconds today so let's really go for it and just really if you're doing that on the right really take that knee over nice and far so we're really feeling that sculpting through your abs if you're on the left then take that nice and low so you can feel that through the inner and outer thighs so well done that is your workout complete and I'm now gonna go through doing a full cool down stretch with you and I'm gonna to talk to you about how you are now gonna be burning so many more calories for the next 10 hours. So first of all, let's start. Just feel that stretch through the back of the lower leg. If you need some water, just hit the pause button. I shall wait for you, you can go and grab some water. So let's just hold that stretch. So what has happened today, during today's training, we've done HIT exercises. Now the benefit of that is it increases what's known as your EPOC excess post-oxygen consumption, meaning 
feeling it raises your calorie burn for hours afterwards. Now here's an example of a lady, she posted this up yesterday on Instagram, who's been following my workout. She has now lost a six stone. So she's eating clean and she's simply doing all my workouts and it just goes to prove this stuff works. Trust me, I am a trainer with over 25 years experience. I know how to get you amazing results. So let's now just take that to the opposite leg. And as I always say, you know, the beauty about fitness is it isn't just about how we look on the outside, it's what's doing to it's what it's doing to your health inside, you know? And we don't need to ever buy any ridiculous product shake, milkshake, protein drink, blah blah blah, anything like that. Don't need it. Just eat clean and just put on your trainers. Even if you don't like doing hit, just go outdoors for a quick walk, march around the room. We can all be our healthiest and fittest version. It is so simple and I just get, I'm so passionate about teaching people that. I hate seeing all these gimmicks. There's so much nonsense out there. You know, it's you have, you really honestly have the ability. It's, if you want to do it, it's just sticking to it and just making it part of your life. Okay, well done. And you know, the other thing is nutrition can be really tasty. It's like in my um, latest healthy eating book, this is where I wanted to just show you, enjoy food, don't be scared of food. And look at food also as an opportunity to look after your health. You know, eating a really healthy diet is just going to boost your overall health, your energy levels. It's amazing for your skin, your eyes, your hair, just everything. And I think so many people, if they're stuck in the rut of just eating rubbish food, they forget how amazing it feels to eat healthy food. But healthy food can be delicious. Like this. Oh my goodness, you would love this. This is a smoothie bowl. So easy to make. It is just natural yogurt. It is a handful of raspberries, a kiwi and some pumpkin seeds. It tastes divine. It takes literally two minutes to make and the benefit you get from this is huge and it's cheap. You know, this is where it's just about re-educating and understanding that clean, healthy eating, healthy living, being active is actually really fun. And once you start, you would never or you will never ever want to stop. All right, so we're just gonna do an inner thigh stretch, a little bit more tricky this one. So just come down, only go down as far as you can. Here's another really delicious one, no bake energy treats. And let me tell you, these taste even better than chocolate. And if anyone knows me on here, you know I love chocolate. And again, really easy, not having to put in the oven or anything, really simple, really quick and it's about planning just being ahead knowing you've got the right foods in the right ingredients and when you combine healthy eating with being active is when you are going to look incredible absolutely and feel your best all right that's good and just feeling that nice stretch okay and let's now come up to standing and then we're just going to take the arms behind. And also, I just have to say, in this um, healthy eating video ebook, I have such a new exciting feature. You literally pick on that area you tone. So, say if you want to tone the bust, you click on that in the video ebook, and it takes you straight to some workout videos. If you want to get rid of arm fat and tone your arms, you click that. If you want to work on your abs, so I'm really excited. And if any of you guys have already got the book, then do let me know in the comments down below. Or remember, you can also leave a review for my book on my website at lwrfitness.com. Okay, that's good. And then let's take that to the other arm. And then I'm going to be posting you up over the weekend an ab toning workout. And then I'm going to get you guys a walking one on Tuesday. And don't forget in November, you've got a brand new challenge. You've got a video going up every day. So if you like today's video, then please definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, then definitely hit the subscribe button. And also, if you like to have in the chair in it, then please help me by doing a share the chair and sharing this on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram. And then I'll see you back on my channel soon for another workout.